how do you describe your school to you know the the random person? Is it is there a challenge in you know kind of describing what you do? For me, I, I think it's very very clear in my head what this place is, mm -hmm. and that's only from my perspective. And so when I'm trying to explain it to other people, it depends on on the purpose, whether it's older children, younger children, parents who are already sold on this place or perhaps families who are a little bit reluctant to kind of accept what we might be offering. So it really you have to pull little bits out here and there of, of, of things. But I think the overall part of it is what Sarah did say. It's the children that reflect this place so, so, so well. And the joy that you can see when they're speaking about it and when they're explaining the important bits to them, there's nothing like it. And that's... Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anyone in this world that could argue that those couldn't be the most important parts of, of development and growing up. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.